Hi Taurus, it's Tuesday today, May 7th, 2024, and I'm pretty sure it's May 7th anyway, but happy birthday you guys, I have lit up birthday candles here for you. Sorry about that, I forgot to plug the microphone. I think we're all good now. I wish I could have you guys here and just make this big birthday cake for you guys. But I'm gonna, we're gonna take a look in to these doors into a past life, all right? To do something different for your birthday. And I want you guys to choose, I'm gonna lay out five cards and I want you guys to choose one doorway before we get into the tarot and let's take a glimpse into your past life. Just knocked on the door. Let's look in, Taurus. So choose a card. One, two, three, four, five. Choose your doorway. Go off of your very first instinct. Let me make sure you guys can see all of the cards. And we're just going to get a glimpse into this past life before we start reading your tarot cards today. So this is one, two, three, four, five. All right, if you chose number one, you have spirituality and religion. Uh, this may, this might be a strong energy in this lifetime of yours is um, feeling your spirituality and religion. It, it's probably like a driving force in your mind, all right? It's always in the back of your mind. Um, you've ha you are someone who's felt like there's been something significant that happened in this lifetime, some type of memory. And I don't know if you even actually shared this with some, with anyone in your life because I feel like it may be something that is not explainable, that people wouldn't explain or wouldn't understand. All right, and if you chose door number two, biblical, biblical. So I feel like if we go back to biblical times, this was this was a lifetime of yours that's very significant, all right? And so you may um, find yourself that you work a lot in this lifetime. This person has like a hammer and tools in their hand. And if you choose doorway number three, you were an orphan, okay? This card literally says orphan on it. You felt a sense of isolation, um, abandonment. And so that may be something that you're carrying on to this lifetime to try to fulfill this this feeling of abandonment. Um, for, um like you could have this this type of energy around you where you're afraid of abandonment in this lifetime. And then if you chose number four, door number four, you were in some type of war. There was some type of war or battle, war and battles it says, that you were in in a past life. So I feel like you're a fighter. And doorway number five, you have high priestess or high priest or priestess. All right. So again here, there's this um, 
religious element here. It's like you, you are someone here that it's very, very spiritual. You're very spiritually wise. You see things that other people don't see. You see what is hidden behind the veil. You pick up on other people's energies very strongly. I feel like um, you're an empath and you feel other people's pain, maybe even animals. I feel like these people, they they don't even need to tell you, you know, that that they're suffering. You pick up on it. You feel it. All right, you guys. Happy birthday. And let's get into the tarot. Let's see what's happening in the tarot. Let's knock on the door. the energies inside spirits what does Taurus need to know right now at the time they're viewing this reading what does Taurus need to know all right so here you are Taurus you're showing up as the queen of pentacles is your very first card um there's something here I I feel like you're you know like and this energy right here, it's like you're working on your home. Um, you're being in the energy of a mother, whether you're male or female. You're caring for other people around you. And that's what's important to you right now. You may be focused on your money or your stability here. The next card you have is the Ten of Swords. But there's a situation here where you feel like you just can't get out of it. Um, you could feel like someone has backstabbed you, betrayed you. There's an ending. And then you have the Page of Swords. So I'm, I'm seeing you here. We're going to go back and clarify the cards. But um, you could be talking about this to someone else all right and looking for answers you could be feeling tired you have the four of swords here next you may be you may even be feeling like you need to recuperate you need to sit back and contemplate on what you need to do Yeah, the Seven of Cups. This is a state of confusion. It's showing up reversed like there's some type of an illusion in your energy or a temptation. Or you could be looking at um, some tactics here, how to, how to figure something out. This card is falling right underneath this Ten of Swords energy. So... You could be looking at ways to go around uh, red tape or something. It's like you're just trying to go straight to the source here. And if you guys notice right underneath this Queen of Pentacles energy, that has to do with motherhood or fatherhood if you're a father. But it, um, you're feeling tired, okay? Maybe you feel like you're having a hard time trying to keep up with what needs to be done around the house or the yard or things like that. Or even your money. Let's see what falls underneath this page of swords. Why is the page of swords here? You have the magician. And you have the page of pentacles you're going to receive some type of news here with the page of pentacles okay and it's good news and it has to do with your money like there's some inheritance or something coming coming towards you guys here some type of messenger is showing up here and so you're going to receive like an increase in your in your money Taurus 
So I don't know what that's about, but we're going to go back and clarify. But it's going to take you into this magician energy where you'll be taking some type of action when you receive this message. And then when we look into the future, you have the Two of Cups. So you have a relationship showing up here. Whoever this person is, Taurus, this person is invested in this relationship. It's showing up in your future. Equally, there's a partnership here of equal attraction. All right, you're both wanting to give to this equally. I feel like there's overwhelming emotions here with the Ace of Cups with this person that they feel for you also. And then you have the the Eight of Cups. So you may feel like um, at times you want to withdraw and escape. And I'm going to clarify. I'm going to find out why you feel like this. This connection right here, it might be a little bit overwhelming where it consumes your time and you just want to you just want to walk away at times tell me why the queen of pentacles is here This is Leo energy, the sun, but there's someone here that I'm seeing them approaching you, but um, whoever this person is, they come in with the sun, they come in with warmth, but this person's perception of this whole situation that you have with them is completely different than, than yours. I'm seeing them, it's like they're I see a past energy here that is trying to, it's trying to heal. And this is someone that you feel betrayed by, Taurus. Tell me why the Ten of Swords is here. Yeah, you were supposed to be working together with someone. There was supposed to be a collaboration. Um, and it's come to an end and you feel like whoever this is stabbed you in the back this person they when they were collaborating with you before you felt stabbed in the back this person seemed very generous okay very kind very loving very generous Yeah, see, and this is like what you guys had yesterday. You have the Death card, Scorpio energy, and um, Sagittarius energy here with Temperance. You, someone watching right now, it's not for all of you guys, but someone watching me right now, you have someone um, where there's been an ending, coming back around again, and wanting to reconcile with you. And... I feel like there's someone here that you're looking at. Taurus, you're looking for information, trying to figure out what's going on. Why is the Page of Swords here? Yeah, this person's changed. They've gone silent. They've gone quiet. The High Priestess is Pisces energy. They seem mysterious. The Six of Pentacles is here. This person um, is breadcrumbing you. They come in with this really warm, loving energy. They came into your life like this, and then it's like they changed. Like there's this sudden change where they start backing off. They start being quiet. They, they start breadcrumbing you. And there could even be like a look 
little to no communication. I'm feeling like little communication. Why is the Four of Swords here? You have the Emperor and you have the Ace of Pentacles. This person's trying to... Um, I feel like this, I feel like this person's focused a lot on their money or their work right now. Tell me why this emperor is here. The nine of pentacles. This person's showing themselves wherever they are. It's like they're portraying themselves as being single. Um, they're trying to look a certain way on the outside to other people or other people perceive them as being single it's like they're quiet they're not really saying a lot to anybody tell me why the seven of cups is here The full Aries energy and the Queen of Wands. Whoever this is, Taurus, it's like they are. I'm seeing someone here that's a very spree, a very free spirited person um but they're being conservative they're they're breadcrumbing you um they're showing this other side of them to the world or to someone else it's like they're showing themselves <coughs> as being this kind loving um person and whoever this person is they're actually they're still holding on to you they haven't let go of you even though they seem like they changed to to you like they're um they're showing a different side of themselves and i'm seeing next i feel like you are I mean, we all have free will here, but it looks like you could be sending this person a message. With the magician there, it's almost like you could be thinking about this person. And so it's causing some type of manifestation. I feel like you're, you're thinking about someone and it's actually causing a manifestation. Tell me why the magician is here. Yeah, you want truth. You want to clear up confusion. And it's like you're waiting because you feel in the dark. There's fear, anxiety, insecurity in your subconscious mind. You could fear that... Um, this person is lying, cheating, or stealing. But this this is someone. Someone that's doing something here. But I don't think they're, that there's a third party here, a person. This is not a person. Tell me why the Two of Cups is here. But I'm seeing, for some of you, this is going to be a past life connection. But for some of you, this is going to be um, a reconciliation with somebody here where there's been an ending. 
It's like the same type of energy that we got yesterday. Let's look into this partnership here. Let's see what's going on, Taurus. Why is the Two of Cups here? There's a lot of love between you and, and whoever this is, Taurus. I can see the love here. <coughs> Why is the Page of Swords in reverse? Okay, so apparently this person you know, is looking at the bigger picture. This is Pisces energy, but I feel like whoever this person is, as I look into the future, they're showing me that they love you, but I feel like this is someone that is going to kind of back off and they're not going to be looking for information about you. They're not going to be spying on you. They're, um, they're trying to match your energy. This person could have felt like you were being distant. Tell me why the Ace of Cups is here. But there's something here about a reconciliation. Why is there two queens here? The Ace of Cups and the Moon. Tell me more. Why is the Ace of Cups in the Moon here? The Two of Cups again. The Devil is here. Capricorn energy. This person's keeping a secret from you, Taurus. I mean, look, here's here's your connection again showing up here. Um, you both love each other equally. The love is there. But whoever this person is, it's almost like they're angry about something. And so even though they love you, they're keeping they're keeping a secret. It's almost like this person has a secret life. And they feel they feel like they don't know which life to choose. It's very, very weird to me, very strange. Tell me why the Ace of Cups is here. Leave me a comment and let me know if that makes sense. Because it's almost like someone is leading a double life. See, they, it's like they're, um, they want you, but they, they feel confused. All right, they don't, I feel like this is someone who doesn't like something about the way you do things. Tell me about Ten of Cups. They feel happy when they're around you, but then they feel confused. And I feel like whoever this is, they walk away and they come back again. Tell me, yeah, they go into hermit mode. Tell me why the Eight of Cups is here. They know the love is there, but for some reason this person, they, they, they really feel like there's some type of consequence or something like that that goes along with this love. It's like they want it, but then they don't. And it, the, this person's coming across... Like, they're very, very mysterious to me. It's hard for me to understand, to be able to put it into words when I'm seeing here. But this is someone who wants you. But this is someone who may feel like they're, you know, this is someone who may be controlling somehow. Wanting to move ahead. This might be a cancer wanting to move forward. I feel like whoever this person is is strongly someone who 
values their independence. It's like they want to in their life, but they're in a state of confusion here. Because it's like they have fallen in love with you as much as they want to move on. They can't. Tell me why the chariot is here. I see the devil. They feel stuck. This is Capricorn energy. Tell me more about the devil. Justice and the Four of Swords. Libra energy is justice. This person, the truth, spirits are saying the truth, is this person is holding on to some type of pain that they're trying to heal from. And they're actually afraid of you. Like they're afraid of these three swords falling down and hitting them. It's like they're they're trying to protect themselves. Yeah, see, they, they see themselves, you know, like as if I'm happy by myself. But it's this is someone who has fallen for you, Taurus. But they're standing here waiting for this feeling of emptiness or feeling ghosted, a feeling of abandonment, a message telling them that you've walked away. This person has a fear of abandonment. They may have been <coughs> abandoned in the past. This is someone that may also feel like um, there's something here where they, they feel like they've lost trust with you or, um, you know, I don't know. It's like they, they want it, but then they're afraid to have this connection with you. This is this is a very strange reading because whoever this this energy is, um, I'm picking up on your person's energy very strongly in this reading, Taurus. Alright, so let's look at your moonology cards and see what your advice is. What does Taurus need to know? You have trust, all will be well. And then you have cool your emotions. So cool your emotions is full moon in Aries. And new moon in Virgo is trust, all will be well. And keep your heart open. First quarter moon in Libra is on the bottom of the deck. And then I want you guys to choose your angel answer card and ask your angels a question. Choose as many cards as you feel as you're feeling called to choose. Okay, so let's see. There's number one. Number two. And number three. All right. So if you chose number one, your, ans your angels are telling you if you believe. If you chose number two, compromise. And if you chose number three, you have unlikely. All right, Taurus, happy birthday, you guys. And take care of you today. And we'll meet back up here again tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for your donations to the channel and for being here with me and taking the time to like and subscribe. I love you guys. And I'll see you tomorrow, Taurus. Namaste.